So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. So check those out for massive discounts on all your hidden summoner needs as well as all your other Yu-Gi-Oh needs. But let's get on with the profile. What's up YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr War Games and I'm bringing to you guys a, another update to my Galaxy Eyes Photon deck. Now, the reason I'm doing this update is because I've been playtesting this deck a lot recently and I just want to share with you guys what I've got with it. Um, let's put some of these tokens in here because they're really nice tokens. I'm really happy with them. Um, but yeah, so I've been playtesting this deck a lot and there's been a, quite a lot of changes in terms of the card ratios in this deck. Um, the card choices as well, as well as a few additions to the deck. Um, the main deck and extra deck that I just wanted to share with you guys so you can see what this what this deck is coming to and um, how I'm going with it. Um, this is my deck of the format I think. Uh, I have a very strong feel that this is going to be a good deck for this format. Just as the, the big beat stick and negations that this deck can produce um, very consistently and being able to just out nearly any board in the game. Um, it's just very, very strong, very, very powerful. And it's a deck that I'm comfortable with, as you all guys know. If you've been a fan on this channel for a long time, you know that Galaxy Eyes Photon was my deck that I won my first locals with. Um, and so going back to it, um, again, it's just very, very nice and very, very comforting. Um, putting DD to a side to at least we get the Link Monster. Um, now I'll be playing that again. I'm not too sure, but we'll see how... It all goes. Salomon Great is something I'm looking forward to as well. Um, we'll see how that goes as well. But with all that said and done, let's get into it. Starting off with the obvious three Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons. you got to have three Galaxy Eyes. The deck revolves around Galaxy Eyes a lot more than it used to before. So you've got to have three copies. Um, use it for your Link Monsters effect as well as your um, XT's plays as well. So got to have three Galaxy Eyes. I'm playing two Galaxy Knights. I dropped Knight to two to make room for two copies of Galaxy Brave, which is basically Galaxy Eyes alternative dragon, <laughs> alternative warrior, um, because it just operates the exact same way. You just reveal a photon and Brave can summon itself and make its level the same as the level that you reveal. So if you reveal photon dragon, he comes out as a level eight. And you can also target a Galaxy, a uh, photon in your graveyard, I think a galaxy as well, um, but definitely a photon, and then you can treat its um, attack points as that. So, very, very beefy. You can win games with just Galaxy Brave alone, just yeah, he can make himself stupidly large. You have like a full armor in your graveyard, it's like 4k attack, um, just on a free summon. But Galaxy Knight, we all know why we play Galaxy Knight. I feel like free is just way too much. I think Brave is the better version in a way, but Knight is part of your essentially one card combo that ends you with a rank 8 and a link, and I'll explain that combo at the end of the video. Um, then we have three uh, Galaxy Soldiers, consistency of the deck, you know, just as a Galaxy when it's special summoned, um, and just a free special summon in a way just by just ditching a light, very, very useful. And it helps you go into your rank 5 players, but also your link players as well. Uh, free Galaxy Wizard. I've been thinking of dropping this down to 2. I see a lot of people dropping it down to 2. I can just never get myself to drop it down to 2. Every time I try and do it, I just miss having it as free. Uh, at 3. So, it's just something I'm playing around with. But so far, 3 is nice. Uh, I'm happy with 3. I've always been comfortable with 3. Um... Just getting that consistency for any Galaxy card in your deck, essentially. But also helping you go into your rank 8 plays um, via your expeditions. Moving on to the Photon sides now, we have the free Photon Orbital. Um, just an amazing card, exactly what Galaxy needed for the consistency. Um, helping with the consistency in the XC's plays. Um, just, you know, attaching it to any Galaxy and then just sending it any Photon or Galaxy and sending it to Grave to search a Galaxy or Photon monster, which is absolutely amazing. 
Um, then we have two Thrashers. I dropped Thrasher down to two, but then up to Vanisher to three. Um, I feel like Thrasher is harder to summon than Vanisher, and Vanisher is just a lot more easier um, to summon. And you can summon Vanisher in a lot more situations than Thrasher. Um, so I've changed the ratios around that, and I'm very happy with the way I have, um, with the fact that I have. Being able to also just grab Galaxy Eyes a lot quicker um, by, by having three vanishes is just very, very helpful to the deck. I'm really happy I changed that. And then Ash Blossoms are just at two. Um, this can be any um, hand trap that you want in your in the game that you want to put in your deck. Um, Ghost Ogre and Effect Burner are very helpful to the deck as well. Or very useful in the deck just because not only are they hand traps that can help you with negations and outing out problematic threats but being lights it's the galaxy soldier food um but ash blossom at the moment is just doing well for me so that's the monsters moving on to spells probably still the best spell in the deck is photon sanctuary um just so usable in so many decks which is absolutely amazing in this deck just because they're photon monsters that you summon to the field and then you can just instantly make your link monster well so just um, being able to summon all your other monsters like your vanishes and your knights without sacrificing and stuff like that and very very odd times you use this to summon galaxy eyes just to get the body on the board and help you go into your rank a or just out of threat um three expeditions now i know for a long time i've been saying i've never bumped this up to three because it's just a brick but now the way with the how consistent the deck is now you can always resolve expedition just getting that free monster onto the board for your players is just absolutely amazing and just absolutely crucial so having expedition at three is just very very handy um that you can play at two and i probably might drop it down to two again just to play around with ratios again but at the moment three is just doing very very well i'm very happy with it the one rotor just to search the warriors that you need. Two trade-ins, three is too much. Um, but you can play it for three. It's again, <laughs> this deck is so that deck of you can play at this, you can play at that. But at the moment, two has been doing very well for me. I see it when I need it. It just helps you get that level eight in the graveyard that you need. What I did take it out, one out for though, is a copy of Foolish Burial to help make this card live. Because this is literally your one card link to and rank 8. Which is just absolutely amazing. So I'm playing the Foolish Barrel to help make that play. Um, first turn. Uh, because it is like a 1.5 card. Um, two monster on the field. So it's a very very strong combo. And I will show it to you guys at the end. Um, but for, so Foolish Barrel is very nice for that combo. I'm playing two revival spells in forms of Galaxy Zero and Monster Reborn. Galaxy Zero being searchable, Monster Reborn not being searchable. And you can play Soul Charge in here if you want to. I just never find a need to play Soul Charge because I feel like Galaxy Trans does that for me. Three copies of Call by the Grave. And this is a 41 card deck so I'm playing a fun spicy tech of Rank Up Magic the 7th one. So you can probably tell who's in my extra deck now. Um, but yeah, 7th one is just a fun little spicy tech that I'm playing. Um, just like a sacky one-off card that, you know, you draw it, you get a big monster on the board. That's very hard for your opponent to deal with. So yeah, moving on to the extra deck where you have your four link monsters in the forms of three Galaxy Eye Soul Flare Dragon. I know some people say three is too much, but it's not. You need three copies. You will go through three copies. Um, you at least go through two. You go through two all the times. You go through three at certain times, and those certain times do come up a lot. So three copies, just go for it. If you want to, you could probably swap one of these out for a hip Hoshigan. Um, but I just think just Soul Flare is just that much, much better. Um, then I play one ball load. You can play ball sword if you want to um, for the more damage and OTK potentials. But I thought ball load just it's more of a struggle for your opponent to get over it just because it can't be targeted by monster effects um, as opposed to ball sword who can. So I think ball load is just that little bit better. That's just my opinion. Two rank fours in the forms of stylish photon blast dragon and number 101. Um, this was a, a advice by one of our friends at Zephyr War Games. Um, 
is that 101 is actually very good at the moment just for that Sky Striker matchup because you can absorb the Link Monster as the Exceed material and they can't trigger very Grave to start summoning back. Um, worst case scenario, it's a bait for the uh, Widow Anchor, um, which is very true. Being able to bait that out um, before you start going to a big good place um, is very helpful. So I'm trying out the 101. The only thing I replaced this out for was the um, Exoton Knights. So it's up to you for your other rank 4 or if you don't even want to go for a second rank 4, just stick with the 1. But I'm trying out on an arc just to see how it goes. I'm playing the one Constellar Pallades. I took out the Infinity package because um, just I think Infinity... Infinity negates and yes that's very helpful and on your turns it can absorb whereas Constellar Pallades just can out the same threats as, of, as Infinity can with less resources in my extra I can start playing like extra techs and extra um, cards like the 101 for example and so I haven't missed the Infinity and the times I have been able to go into the rank 5 Pallades is just as good being able to bounce things twice um, is very helpful so I'm trying Pallades out I'm even thinking of taking out the rank 5s completely and just stick to rank 4s and um, rank 8s um, and link monsters so we'll see how it goes but so far Pallades is very very good at the moment uh, moving on to the rank 8 so we have the Titanic we have the Tachyon Dragon um, we have the two number 90s you do go into two and then you have your Cypher duos of Cypher and Blade and then the full armor photon dragon to round up your essentially rank 8 package and then to round up the whole extra deck is the 107 chaos tachyon dragon um who yes it's only summonable through seventh one and ideally you wouldn't play it but it's just i'm trying it out he's fun um if you do get it off you get it off what, what more can you say so guys that's the deck uh, i hope you all enjoyed it um yeah i know there's been a bit more galaxy updates um so far but as i said it's the deck i'm playing at the moment it's the deck i'm testing a lot at the moment and there's a lot of ratios i'm constantly tweaking with um and so it's just what i do also guys if you want to know how i made these tokens i made these tokens literally just using the ygo pro um app on, on the computer i go to the um files and i find the tokens on there and i just literally save them i print them off in um card size and i just literally slap them in the sleeve on top of a card um but yeah that's literally how i do it <laughs> if, if um to anyone who um is interested and curious so guys as always like comment subscribe to the channel until next time guys as always happy dueling also, YouTube, thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button. And, of course, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button in the bottom left-hand corner and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. We've got more deck profiles, duels, pack openings, and many more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos coming up for you all year round. So don't forget to stay tuned for all of that. Thanks, and as always, guys, happy dueling.